Australia's Foreign Minister, Senator Penny Wong, visited Bokona Community High School in Honiara today to open a new science laboratory. The lab is part of Australia's Solomon Dollars 29 million contribution to school upgrades in collaboration with Solomon Islands and New Zealand. Uh, the announcement today, the, the science lab that you saw, is just one part uh, of a bigger announcement, uh, a bigger investment uh, that Australia is making alongside New Zealand. Uh, we are investing $29 million in Solomon Island terms uh, across uh, the education system, providing critical infrastru educational infrastructure to 40 schools, 40 schools across nine provinces. So what you saw today is one of uh, the investments, uh, but imagine that rolled out across 40 schools. So that is uh, a really good thing and we're really pleased to have partnered with uh, Solomon Islands Government and New Zealand to deliver that. Education Minister Tozen Leokana joined the Minister Wong during the visit. He acknowledged Australia's support to Solomon Islands in the education sector. I must acknowledge and register my deep appreciation to the Government of Australia and New Zealand for their continued support to build the Science Lab and many more school infrastructure projects in the past years. This Science Lab, just for our information, was built at the cost of around $1.5 plus million. And that's a huge money, and we'd like to say thank you to Australia and New Zealand for their continued support in terms of our education in our country. Let's give them a round of applause. Principal Basil Wasia also expressed gratitude to stakeholders involved in reaching this milestone achievement. To all of you for joining us to witness and above all celebrate this milestone achievement together. Your presence adds a special world to our catering and makes this event even more memorable. I extend a warm welcome to each and everyone of our guest whose presence today adds a remarkable value to our catering. I would also like to acknowledge the incredible event effort of our event organizers, volunteers, and sponsors. Without your tireless work and generous contributions, today's celebration would not have been possible. Your commitment to excellence is what brings our community closer and make events like these a surrounding success. Australia's investment in Solomon Islands education totals to 720 million Solomon dollars since 2015. At the same time, Australia's Foreign Minister Penny Wong also announced funding of 494 scholarships to equip Solomon Islanders with the skills and qualifications they need to get jobs at home and abroad. Since 2021, Australia has helped to create more than 14,000 jobs through its development partnership with the Solomon Islands through the Pacific Australia Labour Mobility Scheme. That Australia is funding nearly 500, we should have funded just 500, anyway, it's 494, but we'll try and make it up to 500. 494 scholarships to give men and women here in Solomon Islands the opportunity to undertake technical training qualifications this year. These 494 Solomon Islanders were graduated with fully funded qualifications that will equip them with work-ready skills and experience in sectors like construction, tourism, hospitality, agribusiness, in order to help them get a job. Wong was joined by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and External Trade, and Minister of Education. Australia's support for the 494 technical and vocational education and training scholarships for Solomon Islanders recognises the importance of skills training for economic development. And that path demands education, demands the education that we are partnering with you to help deliver uh, for your children but it also demands education 
and training uh, for, for Solomon Islanders as they enter the workforce. So in addition to the 494 uh, schol uh, scholarships that I have announced, we have a long-standing investment in skills development in this country, uh, and uh, including the 2,500 plus graduates from the Australia Pacific Training Coalition. The Vocational Award Scholarships are in addition to Australia's long-standing skills program, APTC. More than 2,500 Solomon Islanders have graduated from rural training centres in Guadalcanal, Malaita, Western and Isabel Province. Wong arrived yesterday where she met with the Prime Minister, Jeremiah Manele, and Ministers of the Government for National Unity and Transformation. Minister Wong says Australia is committed to supporting Solomon Islands' long-term economic growth.